he calls himself. Wait, time out. Is it weird that I'm standing next to you? Like we're gonna tell the story together when I don't know what you... I'm just gonna go stand over there. Mm -hmm. Here I am, next to my pal. Please continue. He calls himself the, the bull. bull. But nobody knows that because he's the last person anybody would think is running guns and drugs. CEO criminal, okay. So we're basically talking about Victor Maitland. You talking about the villain from Beverly Hills Cop? Gray haired gentleman, very dark skin, Capricorn. Nothing like that at all. Maitland owned a gallery and lived in a city. Sure, but he was selling drugs. On the side. Okay, does it have to be a movie character? If you want us to understand, yes. It would help us enormously. Okay, fine. Victor Maitland. So, I was an investigator at a private security firm. I was working for an insurance claim company. I get sent out to take photos of a worker's comp claim. I stumble across this smooth, swole brother named Alan Decker. He's hiding across the street watching the same complex. She got pictures. I got pictures. We pulled our stuff together. So we working in close quarters. Mm hmm Under the specter of danger. Mm. Sparks start to fly. Tale as old as time. And we can deny the heat any longer. You can skip this part. It's disgusting. It was exciting and sexy. We felt like these moral crusaders, you know? So we about to tell a delivery van, and one of his muzzle heads is about to make a drop. Talk about a serious crime. <laughs> Something goes wrong, it's a gunfight. <laughs> and one of the goons leaves a gun at the scene. That was it. We had a literal smoking gun, but nobody wanted to believe anything bad about this guy. The cops were more concerned how we found a gun with missing serial numbers. That's when we knew we had to do it alone. And we were intoxicated by it. Yeah, that was the night I asked the mayor me. You gotta strike when the iron's hot. I got caught up in the moment and said yes. His cousin Nipsey is ordained and drove up from Bakersfield. I still owe her an engagement ring, a honeymoon. We figured there'd be time. But no matter how careful we thought we were being, his goons would always find us. Ah! Oh, that's when I realized the only way we stay alive is if we split up. One of the toughest decisions I ever made in my life. He broke up with me on a post-it note. No. Mm -hmm. Like when Burger broke up with Carrie? I'm sorry. I can't. Don't hate me? Yes. <gasps> so I realized I had nothing else to lose. So I came back to finish the job. And here we are. Enough. You've painted a pretty picture, but you forgot one thing. Shoot. What is her real name? Is it Prince? Ooh, yeah, it'd probably be best if she told you that. Nah, you need to tell me right now. You are very close to my face. Tell me. Things are about to get weird. They're not about to get weird, Gus. They're weird. It's time for you and I to take a very short but meaningful walk. Fine. We'll be back. I didn't know if he was even still alive. I realized the whole thing was just the intensity of the moment, and I needed to get on with my life. And I did. I met Gus. And I cannot lose him. So we need to find him and stop him before he realizes what he's getting into. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna change. Selena, you douse the fire. O'Hara, you're driving because these men are not gonna save themselves. 